when we're designing and building our super insulated wall assemblies, we need to make sure that we specify high performance windows. So when we're choosing the windows to install in our house, we typically select a triple pane glazing unit, a high performance frame, and we also need to make sure that our windows have one, two, and sometimes three gaskets so that when we close the windows, they're airtight. When we look more closely at the construction of our passive house windows, we see that it has a function that allows us to tilt the window and just allow a small breeze. They still allow us to open it like a regular casement window in swing. But more importantly, if you look more carefully at the frame, you can see multi-point locking mechanisms, cams all around the frame that engage with these pins on the sash so that when we lock the window, all the cams engage around the whole frame and compress the sash into the frame and really create a great seal. When we look more closely at the glazing assembly in these windows, you will notice that there are black spacer bars between the three panes of glass. These are specific warm edge spacers which reduce the amount of heat flow that is conducted directly out of the spacers between the glazing assembly and thus improving the, the overall performance of this window. It's very important when specifying the glass for your passive house windows that you choose a fairly high solar heat gain coefficient glass. What that allows is the maximum amount of sunlight and warmth to come through your windows so that you can passively heat your house and not block the heat with the coatings on the glass. When we specify high solar heat gain coefficient glass, we optimize the amount of light and heat coming into our buildings through the windows. However, you want to be very careful when you do that that you also make sure you plan good shading. So what we typically do are deep overhangs for the summer as well as operable exterior blinds because what we're doing with that is we're allowing the maximum amount of sun and heat to come into our buildings during the winter when we need it most but in the summer we're able to control that heat gain to keep the excess heat out of our buildings. All the technical construction details of a window are great but the primary reason we specify triple pane windows as opposed to double pane windows is for the comfort criteria. What we are really looking for is a very even surface temperature between the inside of our windows and the wall surface temperature inside our home. And what we're wanting to make sure is that there is not a huge surface temperature differential between these two assemblies. In order to very accurately measure the comfort criteria on different window assemblies, we're actually conducting a, an experiment to measure the interior surface temperature on both a double and a triple pane window. However, if you specify high solar heat gain glazing, you need to be very careful about shading because what you're also doing in the summer, you're allowing potentially allowing too much heat into your building and if you can actively shade the windows you can minimize the excess heat coming into your building. What you want to then be able to do is allow in the winter that heat to come through but you want to um, reduce that heat gain in the summer. 
However, if you are specifying high solar heat gain coefficient glass, you want to be very careful that you actively shade your windows. So in the summer, you want to minimize the excess heat coming into your building so that you do not overheat. And then in the winter, you want to be able to optimize the amount of sun coming into your windows, and that is when you want the heat. But it's very important to be aware of shading for your building. However, if you are specifying high solar heat gain coefficient glass, you want to be very uh, cautious about the shading on your building. So we typically here at One Sky Homes use deep overhangs in addition to operable exterior shading. Because what you're doing is you need to minimize the amount of heat coming through your glass in the summer and maximize the amount of heat coming through your glass in the winter. And the best way we found to do that is with operable exterior shades. When you specify high solar heat gain coefficient glass, you're maximizing the amount of light that come through, comes through your building. However, if you're maximizing the amount of light, you're also maximizing the amount of heat that can come through your windows. And in summer, that may not be such a good thing. You need to be very careful about specifying good shading. Here at One Sky Homes, we typically build deep overhangs over our windows, and we also install operable exterior shading because in the summer, you want to reduce the excess heat coming into your building, but then in the winter, you want to be able to open the shades and optimize the amount of heat coming into your building.